Hello, everybody, and welcome to session 12 of our program evaluation class. Um, in this session, we're going to talk a little bit more about instrumental variables, um, and then we'll talk about how they're used in other contexts that aren't as instrumental variable e, um, like we've been talking about in the previous session, um, including how to use them with regression discontinuity. Um, so when we talked about regression discontinuity a couple sessions ago, I mentioned that the stuff I taught you only works if the discontinuity is sharp. Um, if there are no non-compliers, people who are above the threshold and don't use the program or are below the threshold and use the program or something. Um, so that always assumes perfect compliance, but that's rarely the case in real life. And we can use instruments um, to estimate regression discontinuity, even if people aren't obeying the threshold. Um, and so that's what we'll be talking about today is some other applications of instrumental variables um, and how it helps us with compliance issues. So if we head over to the slides here, we can see kind of the, the overview of what we'll talk about. Um, we'll first talk about this idea of treatment effects and compliance. Um, we've talked a lot about treatment effects throughout the semester. Um, you had um, an example of that on your first test where you had to calculate um, different um, uh, conditional average treatment effects and um, average treatment effects and treatment on the treated and treatment on the untreated, all of those abbreviations and acronyms that we've been talking about. We're going to introduce a few more um, that are related to instrumental variables. And then we'll talk about this idea of randomized promotion and how you can use instruments to help you estimate the effect of something even if there is kind of universal accessibility and universal buy-in for a program. Um, this comes from the World Bank reading that you did on instrumental variables. And then we'll finally talk about fuzzy regression discontinuity and how you can use instruments to estimate regression discontinuity um, estimates at a cutoff, but use instrumental variables to get at that effect even if there is non-compliance. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 